Welcome back. Today we're going to preview the uh, short find uh, that's going to be coming this year. Uh, I've got just uh, maybe two hides worth um, this past year. Uh, I was able to finally get them all processed and everything is back and stuff ready for sale. But um, I'll be taking it down to Kelly here come uh, beginning of the month or on the way down to North Carolina. I'll be dropping this off to Kelly. So um, sh you guys should be seeing that here soon, but we are going to be making a full court press for the short fine um, this year, and I hope to uh, hope hope to be able to collect a lot of them, uh, process them, get them tanned, and then get them packaged up and out to you guys by the time we hit the bulk of tying season come winter this year. Um, I just want to go through this, kind of speak through the short fine a little bit, um, and then kind of explain a couple of things, and then we'll wrap this up, and then uh, the videos to follow, we'll be using some of this, doing some caddis and a couple of different things. Um, but I want to show you guys this right here, the differences. Um, these are just a couple of trim pieces. They got, you know, some defects in them or whatever it may be. Um, None of this has been uh, colored at all. This is all of the natural. So there you see right there, this is all of your different colors that you get just out of one hide. Now this piece right here is directly on the spine. Um, you can see, like, it, it's, use, it's, it's useless. There's, there's no use that you can get out of this whatsoever. It's just all fuzz. There's no hollow properties to it. I guess if you wanted to, um, if you're just looking for Comparadon wings, um, that would be a use for this because it does have the nice tip coloration and everything, but you're getting zero buoyancy out of this. Zero to no buoyancy because this hasn't filled out at all um, as far as the hollow properties go. There, and it's the same way even on the late season stuff. The late season stuff right down the spine and about three inches on each side. Um, it'll be hollow in the late season, but that's not your best spinning hair. Your best spinning hair is that, that three inch off the spine down toward the belly. Um, and as you transition down toward the belly, the more hollow the, the hair winds up getting. So this piece right here, you can see I got a couple, you couple of flies out on that one already. That has the hollow properties to it. Uh, the tips aren't as distinct. Um, this one, the tips are a little bit more distinct. Still no clean black break on this one, but you've got good hollow fibers right there, and it's about a half inch long. Um, as you get off of the spine and transition down to the belly, your colors change a decent amount, okay? As you can see on these patches that I have right here, they change a decent amount. Um, this is typically the stuff right here that I like to take and bleach. Um, it just, or if it's, if it's body hair, I like to, to go black or brown with it, you know, because you're not really seeing those distinct breaks. Those are the colors that I like to change. Um, or like to like to use that stuff close to the belly with um, off of the spine where you have that nice clean black break that's where I'll keep most of the stuff natural or I'll dye them with a lighter color so you can still see that that nice distinct line um, a little bit of my process there and how I do things sourcing these is really tough the short find you have about a two week window up here in Montana I'm not sure what it's going to look like in Carolina there may be a bigger window for sourcing the short find. Um, I don't I don't know. I'm not gonna know until I get down there and I can talk to a couple of folks, set up some some contacts and everything and see exactly what we're gonna be looking at for sourcing this. I got a couple of buddies in Western Carolina um, that I may be reaching out to and seeing if they can uh, do some collecting for me. But we'll we'll see. I mean I, I gotta figure a lot of stuff out as far as that goes. Um, but we will be continuing to do this. And like I said, I plan on doing a, uh, a full press for this short find this year because this stuff is really tough to come by. Um, with that being said, the short find that we are selecting or that I will be selling, here's a packaged piece right here. 
This is a two by three, um, nice clean black brake, nice hollow fibers down at the bottom. You can see on the back side, nice and consistent right there. Good finish on the on the on the hide side and everything. That's something that I'm pretty much got worked out now, but uh, was a struggle at the beginning. The hide finish was a little iffy for me, but I think I got the majority of that ironed out. Anyhow, back to the short fine. It's going to be actual short fine. It's not. You're. I, I promise you that I will not have anything labeled short fine and you get it and it's an inch and a quarter or inch and three quarter like i had one fella reach out to me he said he, he ordered some short fine from one of the companies i can't remember who and it came in it was an inch and three quarter long that is not short fine um this stuff right here is on the low or on the short side of what um would be ideal now these are just trimmings or you know this this piece right here this is probably where an arrow went through or whatever and there's still good hair there so i'll use that you know that makes good um that make that makes a great dry fly right there so i'll still use that stuff um just for me personally but that i you know you can't sell anything like that it's all chewed up but i'll use them uh use them myself um but uh this is on the short end of what i like this is right at a half of an inch, okay? Which is great for 14 and lower, 14 and smaller on your dry fly hooks. Um, if you're trying to get up into the 12s on an elk hair or Comparadon, whatever it may be, uh, this may be a little bit on the short side. 14 and smaller, this stuff is perfect right here. All of the short fine that I'm gonna be selling, once I process everything, um, I measure every single piece myself, so it's going to be between a half inch and three quarters of an inch. It's a very, very short window. Um, anything over three quarters of an inch, probably up to an inch and a quarter, will be like your stimulator, your, your x caddis type stuff, um, mostly the stimmies, and then anything an inch and a quarter and up. Um, it's going to be your spinning hair, depending on where it's where it comes from on the hide and everything. Um, so uh, there, there's so many different variables that go into it. There, there was one hide that I had this year. Um, I was able to get spinning stimmy and short fine out of it. Uh, pretty pretty much an anomaly, but the way that it works, and this stuff was taken more up toward the cape side, um, what the taxidermist will typically work with. This is that half inch stuff. Some of the stuff that I got on the rump section is that three quarter inch. It's just absolutely perfect. And some of, you know, I've, I've got some of that packaged up and you, sh you guys should be seeing this on the shelves. Um, it Kelly's here before too long. Um, but yeah, some of this, some of that stuff was absolutely prime. If that hide could have made it, or if that deer would have made it another week, probably the entirety of it would have been perfect. But it's, it's just, uh, um, it's inconsistent, you know. You, you, you just gotta, gotta work with what you can get. There was still some really good stuff that came out of there, um, and then there's some really great stuff for your smaller dry flies. Your, like I said, 16 to 20 is probably the sweet spot for these right here, which you know, your PMDs, your BM, or your uh, PMDs, your, your betas, uh, all that stuff, even if you wanna do some dry coop stuff, this would be really good for that. Um, but anyhow, just wanted to run through this real quick, kind of give you guys an idea of what to be expecting uh, as we get going through this. Like I said, we're going to be trying to, we're going to be sourcing a lot of that, this stuff this year. So I hope to be able to really reach out to get a lot of folks. I know a lot of folks have mentioned how tough it is to find a short find to get actual short find. Uh, some of the stuff I had a patch back here. Um, it was labeled short fire and it was like <laughs> it was spinning air it, it, it was pretty bad um, but I just want you guys to know this stuff is going to be selected and graded um, twice once by me and then once it goes down to Kelly he's going to grade it again a second time just to make sure that you guys know exactly what you're going to be getting in the short fine world um, there was one other point that I wanted to make but it's eluding me right now um, oh, colors. 
So for the colors on this one, we're pretty much going to be in the natural ginger bleach bleach. We'll have a couple different shades of done and then maybe maybe some browns. I, I don't really know, but we're going to keep them pretty basic as far as your dry fly wings go. You're not really going to see any blacks or anything like that. Um, if there's some custom orders, potentially we may do some we may do some variations, but for the most part, it's going to be pretty standard with your duns, your natural, your two bleaches, and then maybe a brown. Uh, we'll see from there where we wind up going. Um, after, after this year, we'll kind of sit back, reassess, see if there's demand for anything else, and uh, adjust accordingly. But something to be looking forward to. Hopefully this winter I'm able to get a lot more of this stuff packaged out. I know people have been asking Kelly for quite some time. You just can't find this stuff anymore uh, for whatever reason and the stuff that you are getting isn't short. So we're going to make a really concentrated effort on this stuff this year. Hopefully get this out to you guys. Like I said, by the bulk of the tying season from when most folks are sitting down in the winter tying their uh, flies for you know, the spring and the summer and for, for the season to follow. So hopefully we'll be able to get a lot of that stuff out. I know I rambled on on this one a good bit, but uh, this is uh, something that I'm pretty excited about, something that I'm really looking forward to. Along with the spinning air, I still have probably uh, 60 hides worth of spinning hair to get dyed uh, and then packaged and processed and ready to go and everything. But then uh, as soon as I start getting in on that i'll be into tanning for next year and getting all that stuff ready so big things to look forward to guys um the short find is on the way along with the stimmy and of course the spinning air so we should have a full inventory um hopefully by winter depending on how long it takes to get settled down there and then to be able to source the hides and get through tanning and all of that fun stuff so let me know if you guys have any questions or if there are different um colors that you would like on this short find maybe we can work that into the rotation a little bit maybe do them in a smaller quantity but for the most part we're going to stick with those those basics and uh, go from there but like i said questions or comments leave them with me i'll get back to you and looking forward to getting this stuff out to you guys here within the next couple of months thanks